Hey YouTubers, Joe Buddy Platt, and today I'm going to show you how to make cinnamon whiskey. So let's go. One of the hottest products out on the uh, market the last couple of years have been cinnamon. Has been cinnamon whiskey. Uh, Jack Daniels has one, Jim Beam has one, several companies have one, of course the most popular is Fireball. So today I thought I would show you how to make a simple cinnamon whiskey recipe and the best part about this recipe is that it's quick too. And all you really need is some cinnamon, some uh, blended whiskey, don't get too fancy with the whiskey, it'd be a shame to take a, you know, an eight year old bourbon or something like that to do that with. And a little bit of turbinado sugar or sugar in the raw. Um, as far as the sugar goes, you could use regular cane sugar, but I, I think the sugar in the raw adds a little taste to it. So with these three ingredients, we're going to make some cinnamon whiskey. So let's get to making some whiskey. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make a, uh, a simple syrup. If you've seen any of my other liqueur videos, you know the magic ratio, one part sugar, to one part water. Uh, for this particular recipe we're going to use a half a cup of water and a half a cup of our sugar in the raw or it's also called turbidado sugar. Uh, like I said if you, if you feel like or if you only have some regular table sugar at home that's fine. Uh, if you want to play a lot or you know play around with it and use honey or agave nectar that's fine. Um, I just think if you think about those cinnamon whiskeys water or a nice brown sugar dark sugar kind of a flavor I think works best with it. So we're going to bring up a half a cup of uh, water up to a simmer and then we're going to stir in our half cup of the sugar in the raw and we're going to just stir this and make sure it gets fully incorporated, there's no lumps, clumps, uh, make sure it becomes a totally clear solution. And then once we get this up to simmer and all the sugar is incorporated, we're going to allow this to cool off then and we'll come back to add the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we've allowed our sugar solution to cool and now we're ready to combine the rest of the ingredients and we're just going to use a little pint mason jar because that's all we're going to make is a pint. First, I'm going to add 10 ounces of our uh, blended whiskey. Then we're going to throw in four cinnamon sticks. And this is kind of the key to the recipe. Uh, since we're not making a big batch, these four cinnamon sticks will really expedite the, uh, the infusion process. Um, if you've ever dealt with cinnamon, especially the, the sticks, you realize they're, they're very powerful. And uh, four of these and this little amount of whiskey will really... Uh, Speed up the infusion and give it, give it a nice cinnamon bite. And then we're just going to top off with our simple sugar. Alright. We're going to put it lid on it, give it a good shake, and we're going to let this sit overnight. Um, if you've seen some other videos uh, like limoncello and uh, the peach schnapps or whatever, when you do it at most infusions, a lot of times it, uh, you leave it up to a week or so. Uh, the 44 liqueur that we're doing is 44, you know, 44 days. But with this small amount of whiskey and then the four sticks in there, we're going to get the cinnamon flavor we want in just a 24 hour period. So we're going to let this sit overnight. And uh, we'll come back to filter it and uh, to wrap up. So our cinnamon's been sitting in our whiskey for 24 hours. And we're going to go ahead and uh, strain that off. Now the reason I'm showing this is, is that uh, I don't think I've shown this in any videos. I'm going to use a cheesecloth. If you put any kind of spice into one of these liqueurs or what have you, you'll, you'll want to use more than just your generic little strainer. You'll want to... Get a piece of cheesecloth to make sure we finely strain it and make sure no little bits of the cinnamon or whatever make it through because if not it'll keep uh, adding more and more spice. And you can find cheesecloth in these little rolls at most of your homebrew shops and even 
uh, sometimes your local grocery stores, a Whole Foods, what have you, and it's cheap and it just comes in real handy for you. And we're just going to strain this off. Alright, we'll let those cinnamon stick strain for a second. And we're going to be ready to drink. Um, it's a real simple recipe. So let me finish up cleaning up here and we'll come back to wrap up. Alright, to wrap up, we made cinnamon whiskey using 10 ounces of a blended whiskey, 4 cinnamon sticks, and we made uh, roughly half a cup of uh, turbinado or sugar in the raw simple syrup. And we added those together and we let it sit overnight. Um, this Part of the point of this video was to show how to do quick infusions or do them faster. Right? Like I pointed out earlier in the video, or limoncello, stuff like that, take normally a week or two, a lot of vodka infusions, same way. With this one, because we did a smaller size, we only used 10 ounces of liquid. Instead of making a batch, it's a core or like we've done in the past. And because of that, our spice got to work even faster, and it only took us 24 hours to make our cinnamon whiskey. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe down below. Also, feel free to share the videos. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them in the comment section below, or as always, contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.